Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at currency conversion. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, when it comes to currency conversion, um, you're literally just doing ratio questions. Um, and it's just learning how to um, set up your equation and then you're pretty much good to go after that. Um, there is actually multiple ways of doing this and I'm going to try and show you folks a couple of ways, different ways of doing this. So with the first question, what I've got here is I am going to be doing this. I've got one NZ dollar is roughly 0 0.94 AUD. And what you'll also notice is that you will actually see that, um, I don't know what that two dots are called. Is it semicolon or colon? I always get confused. Um, but anyway, that thing there usually means is that for every one New Zealand dollar, you're getting 0.94 um, Australian dollars. Now you're trying to convert 10,000 New Zealand dollars. Now this pretty much kind of works in the same way as um, how you deal with fractions, right? So if you think about it like this, I am going to multiply the one NZD by 10,000. Because if I do that, I am going to get 10,000 New Zealand dollars. Which means if I want to figure out what the Australian dollars is, I've still got to follow that same number that I multiply by, which is 10,000. So here I'm actually going to go 10,000 multiplied by 0.94 and when I do this I actually end up with 9,400 Australian dollars and that folks is pretty much how you do these types of questions so let's have a look at um, the Japanese yen here we've got one Japanese yen is roughly 0.012 New Zealand dollars so looking at question two here again we're gonna kind of do the same thing here so we've got one Japanese yen is equal to 0.012 NZ dollars and we're trying to figure out how much New Zealand dollars would get for 50,000 Japanese yen so that means we're going from one Japanese yen to 50,000 that means we need to multiply the Japanese yen by 50,000 and if we do that we're gonna get 50,000 Japanese yen so pretty much repeating the same process on the other side we are gonna multiply the 0 0.12 by 50,000 and so 0 0.12 no I should have said 0 0.012 multiplied by 50,000 that's 5 not 50,000 and that's equal to 600 New Zealand dollars and there we go now, sometimes you have to do it the opposite way as well. And what do I mean by that? Now, in this particular rate, we've got one great British pound equals 1.85 New Zealand dollars. So one great British pound is equal to 1.85 New Zealand dollars. Now, the thing is, what we've got here is we've actually got 800 New Zealand dollars. And we want to try and figure out what the great british um what the equivalent for great british pound is now unfortunately we don't know what number we're multiplying 1.85 to get to 800 so you've got to work that out first so what we're going to do is we're going to go 800 and we're going to divide it by 1.85 now when we do this we are going to get this horrible looking number here which unfortunately is a recurring um decimal and because it's a recurring decimal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Now you might be thinking, hang on, why are we doing this? But let me just bear with me. What I'm doing is if I do 1.85 multiplied by 16,000 over 37, I should get 800. So let's try that out. So 16,000 16, over 37 multiplied by 1.85, that's going to give me 800. So because I've got that ratio that I need to multiply it with, or the, the coefficient, I'm going to multiply 1 with 16,000 over 37. Now, the interesting thing is that I'm still going to end up with the same answer of the coefficient because it's actually 1 great British pound. So 16,000 multiplied, um, no, hang on, we're going to go 16,000 over 37 multiplied by one should just give us the same answer as is so if we convert that into decimal we're actually going to end up with 432.43 great british pounds that's just to get you started and doing it one way there are multiple ways of doing this um, i've seen people do this as a um, similar fractions and they try and do that that way as well 
So um, yeah, there's quite a few ways to potentially do um, currency conversion. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.